What's up everybody? My name is Joshua Noe and today I'm going to tell you 15 useless facts you probably didn't need to know about me. Let's get into it. I'm 27 years old and I can't even grow a beard. It's depressing, I know. But, you see that? That's pretty solid growth there. It's about three months, so you can say things are getting pretty serious. As you can see, it's a bit lopsided, but ah, uh, you know, it just grows how it grows. So, when you become a man, guys, that's what happens. So be ready for it. My childhood crush was actually Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, not Sam Michelle Gell, who was the actor, specifically Buffy. Just want to clear that up in case everybody's confused about that. Every day when I drive to work, I actually have an app where I actually sing karaoke with people all around the world. Um, just makes the trip more fun, you know? Just, just enjoy the trip, you know? So yeah, give it a go if you know it. If I had one fantasy to come true in life, um, it would actually be to become part of a zombie apocalypse. Now stay with me. The reason for this is, if you're a bit of a horror, horror movie buff, you love your zombie movies, you know, your, your George R. Romero's, you've obviously got a bit of survival tactics already, uh, you know, lodged in your back pocket, you're ready to just shoot out when the, you know, what happens, so. You know, I've done my, my fair share of watching these movies, so I reckon if it actually did happen, I'd, uh, what do you say, dominate it, eh? With the samurai sword here, just whoosh, pull that thing out. Got the two desert eagles, just ready to bang bang. Uh, probably like an AK-47, just, just decapitating stuff. Alright, so I have an obsession with board games. Um, in the last year I've collected about 15. Um, what's that one at the moment? I've got that one called, uh, I think it's called Speak Yet. This one here is it, it, the Hanya Sang Aya. I'll show you the whole thing on this thing now. Uh, I believe that the dab is not dead. Um, everybody who says it is, obviously it just doesn't do it right. You know, you gotta do it real sneakily, like that. Like, you didn't see that coming, did ya? See what's over there? Bang, it's a dab. Shake someone's hand, bang, dab. So, you know, it's, it's not dead, it's still alive. It's very much alive. Throughout my, pretty much most of my life, I actually used to pick when I was needed. I'm not gonna lie. Um, from a little child to, you know, probably my adult life. Um, do I still do it? Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you now, that's a secret, but uh, I'll just say it's a maybe. I'm kidding, I don't do it much. I've had the chance to meet Ryan Gosling. He's my man crush. Um, I probably would kiss him if he, if he let me. Um, totally straight, got a girlfriend, but don't tell her. Um, and if he want to get a bit kinky, you know, I would chuck the tongue in there, I won't lie. Um, if he wants a bit of bit of tonsil hockey, then, you know, so be it. I'm not going to say to a guy who that, that attractive. He's, he's pretty cool, so, you know. Ryan Gosling, if you see this video, give me a call, we can hang out. And just see the night takes us. I love rom-coms. Um, probably one of my favourite genres of movie, besides horror and normal comedies, so we'll say, we'll say, it's, we'll say it's a close second or third rom-coms, um, which is probably why I enjoy the company of Ryan Gosling so much. If I ever watch My Girl, um, which is again one of my favourite movies, literally I will cry every single time, um, not even ashamed, you know, you get a little tissue there ready for me when I come to watch it, so if we ever do watch it, um, you want to see a grown man cry, then you know, it's going to happen. Until I was about 21 years old, I was obsessed with the Jonas Brothers. You know, I used to clean my house, have a few beers, and just... Jonas Brothers would be cranking. I actually bought, the, I bought their, uh, their live DVD once. I watched it probably 10 times a week. Um, you know, they're, they're all good. Don't, don't, don't deny that. I uh, still listen to a couple of their songs. Um, not so much the solo stuff, but uh, Jonas Brothers, you know. You did me well back in the past. Give back the uh, the beats. Um, if I had the truth between a vampire and a werewolf, um, I would always go a werewolf. But not that Twilight shit. That's not a real werewolf. That's just a big ass wolf. I'm talking full on like lichen style. Underwell, you know, the on the hind legs. Not this, you know, little wolf that has to jump on both legs. So she's boring. All right, so this is a pretty good little thing I can do. It's called the Peck Pop a Love. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, you gotta admit, come on. It's one of my hidden talents. Um, I know you're probably impressed by now. You know, it takes years of practice, but you know, when you get it, you'll be, you'll be very satisfied, I won't lie. Um, when I was 14 years old, I got blonde tips. Probably the worst mistake ever. I look like a skunk. You know, you get, get that cap on, they pull your hair out. It's just not a fun process for anybody. If you want to get blonde tips, don't do it. Just dye whole hair blonde if you want. It saves the pain. And finally, when I was in primary school, I actually dressed up as a tulip for a play called Tiptoe for the Tulips. I'm not sure if you remember that song. It went, Tiptoe through the tulips, through the tulips. 
I rocked the shit out of that costume. And there's a the photo there. What an absolute cutie. I know, girls. You're probably, you know, gushing on how cute this guy was right there. There it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. You know, if you did like it and you want to keep seeing more videos of me being a complete ass myself, um, you know, do subscribe, do like, um, or just watch it. You know, it's up to you. I'm just here to make people laugh, or attempt it anyway. Probably make myself laugh more than anything. But yeah, stay tuned for uh, for, for weekly videos. Um, hopefully they come out sooner rather than later. Um, until then, guys. Peace.